Hi everybody, it's Anna Shan again. Now, we all like to tell stories. You know, things we remember, things we've done in the past. And since we are the hero of our own stories, uh, we tend to gloss over our failures and weaknesses and maybe exaggerate our strengths and accomplishments a little bit. I've done it, you've done it, everybody does it. But everybody's not running for president. Ben Carson is. And he's under a bit more scrutiny now than the average person. So the press did some fact checking on some of the stories that he's told about his past. And they've not been able to find anything that confirms them. So they started asking questions. And Carson lost it. Now Carson is known for his He's, he's practically a human tranquilizer. He's known for his calm and reasonable demeanor. Matter of fact, that's the thing about him. He will say outrageous things in an incredibly reasonable uh, voice. Well, when asked about the things that he'd said before, he lost it. His voice went up an octave. He was actually squeaking like Mickey Mouse. Uh, he began spluttering and naturally he accused the press of going after him. This is the conservative default position whenever they get either caught in a lie or, or when they can't answer a question. They always accuse the uh, media of liberal bias. Now, nobody made any accusations about Ben Carson. They asked him questions. They wanted to, him to clarify the things he'd said before. And he lost his shit. He even said that Barack Obama never got that kind of scrutiny. Um, I guess he forgot all about the stuff with Jeremiah Wright. And in addition to telling stories about himself, Carson likes to pretend that he's an expert on things he knows nothing about. And some of the things that he said are incredibly stupid. Uh, the pyramids, he said, uh, they weren't built by the pharaohs. They were built by Joseph, the guy in the Bible with the coat of many colors in order to store grain. Boy, that guy must have had a lot of wheat. He said that uh, prison turns people gay. And of course he denies evolution, which is a bit disturbing because as a brain surgeon, you would think that he would have at least a, some knowledge of basic biology. He has said a lot of outrageous things in that cool, calm voice of his. And as his campaign continues, he's going to have to deal with the questions about it. For example, there is his association with Manatech, a company that makes dietary supplements, and made incredibly false claims about him. Carson backed up those claims. He even said that the Manatech supplements cured his cancer which, for some reason or another, he had surgery on. You would think that if the, uh, if the supplements had cured his cancer that uh, he wouldn't have bothered with the surgery. Basically, Carson is a doctor. And he's made a lot of money associating with Manatech and He's kind of guilty of being a bit of a quack. And Carson, and neither Ben Carson nor any other presidential candidate should be immune to questioning about the things they say, uh, about the stories they tell, about their opinions, about their policy. 
That's part of the vetting process of running for president. If he can't handle it, he should simply drop out of the race. But the old, the press is out to get me thing, that's bullshit. Everybody sees through it now. It's the thing that conservatives always do. And it's just not an adequate answer anymore. Thanks for listening.